We were really looking forward to starting a family. So the first trimester was tough, but we were so excited that none of that stuff really mattered. And then finally get into the second trimester, I started feeling better, feeling more like myself. I had gone to work and then I saw blood. So I just got in the car and I just drove myself to the hospital. The supervisor came and that's when she informed us the baby's coming. I had to go to work. I said, I can't work tonight. And... Mm. Mm -hmm. That's when they talked to us about what viable means. Not in the past, but now it's considered viable in terms of meaning we'll do our best to try to save your baby's life at this point. My captain tried to talk me down, tried to calm me down quick. I was on the phone for a couple of minutes and he said, every baby's a miracle, but you're gonna have a miracle. <laughs> they brought me down to the NICU first. I broke down again when I saw him. He was so small and he had all these wires sticking out of him. His whole foot was the size of my phone. Michael was born premature like most of our cases. When they're born premature, there's a lot of unanswered questions for parents. The equipment we have here, it's really like being in a different world. Michael, he was on a CPAP for the first three days, but after that, he needed to be intubated. He had a collapsed lung. He needed a chest tube put in. Everyone kept telling us, like, the NICU's a roller coaster, just be prepared. It still took 38 days for him to come off of the breathing tube. That was the first time that I could hold him. These babies, I always say, put up with much more than any adult would. They only know to fight. We're a very busy center. Our delivery room does about 6,500 deliveries a year. So having a neonatal ICU is a great advantage. Our team goes right to the delivery room. We start administering high-level neonatal intensive care right at the time of birth. We got state-of-the-art cardiac respiratory monitoring equipment. We were soundproofing every room so it decreased any noise, reduced excess stimulation. Each bay now has a privacy curtain. Michael's parents were here every day. A big part of his care was because of their love and consistency. For a baby like Michael to have spent time in a nursery like this, it affords him the comfort and the quiet environment that he needs to grow and heal, and the family too. So we came home March 22nd, and it was tough in the beginning. I would call the NICU, I'd be like, help, please tell me what to do. And they would kind of talk me off a ledge. And they always said, please call us whenever you need to. We know your baby so well. You know, it felt bittersweet because that was our second family at that point and they loved Michael so much and they helped us a lot. I don't think there's thank you enough. Our babies deserve this, our families deserve this. So I want to give a big thanks to everybody who has made any type of contribution to this neonatal ICU. With you, it's possible for Northwell Health to continue to care for our littlest heroes. I look at Michael in just absolute wonder and pure gratitude. I feel like to be a parent of a baby that was born at 24 weeks, you don't take anything for granted anymore. Every single day is an absolute gift.